Okay. I didn't plan on really making a video today. Um, or for a while. But I came across something too cool uh, the other day and I didn't buy it. Only because I wasn't sure. So I looked it up. See prices. And boy did I luck out. Um, I'll show you. Um, now, this isn't, it, well, that's a couple pounds, but little, you know, practice amp. It is a, oh, geez, it hasn't been in my head the whole time. Uh, Sorry, it took so long to see that. I had to turn my flashlight on to see to start this way. Pile. A pile. Amp. It's, it's something that maybe when you had, like, not that particular brand, but I think back to when I was a kid and I had a gorilla. And... Yeah, it had a little bit of overdrive, but it wasn't anything I heard. Rat, Motley Crue. I could, you couldn't get that song, that sound with just little kids practice amp and nothing. But now that I have the big amps, okay, I want to go back. The little thing... I can set on my coffee table, dial it in real simple, just four little knobs, uh, you know, uh, I think it's like 10 watts, and I plug my pedal in, and it all comes back. I don't have to mess around with like tons and tons of settings but when I relearn stuff on this I take it to I'm going to take it to those and also I do have I haven't shown it yet because I haven't tried it but I did get the keyboard why you ask keyboard not really to play keyboard it has hundred built-in drum settings and I can plug that into my big crate and it it's almost like I have a drummer I did that just to see I haven't put on a video um, there's every kind of drum beat you can imagine so if I plug that into my crate I can have different rock beats, all disco, trance, techno. So I could actually plug the keyboard in to the crate, put the crate on a clean keyboard with loops of a drum beat, and then I have a drummer. Which makes playing guitar a little more fun than just sitting here. Cause I don't want to play with a CD in, and it, you know, you want to be able to hear your own sound. And also, you can create new stuff if you really want to. I don't really have any recording devices to do. I mean, other than like this, but with that though, I can put any type of drum sound I want to go with what song I want to play. 
And then, just it makes it more, it'll make it more fun for me. I mean, but I bought this little amp only because I've seen it. I knew that Pile was a good name. Uh, real cheap, twenty bucks. But it is don't let that price fool you. That was a good one. I don't know. I still I don't know why people give this stuff away. Anyway, it's worth way more than twenty dollars. Um, but I'm not selling. It. I I love it too. I can set on my coffee table right in front of me. Well, it is right now. Not too loud. I can just. It's simple. Few settings. Put my pedal. Relearn stuff I knew. Then once I get more familiar with, you know, my hands and stuff, and once I get that stuff, um, I'm sorry, I was tapping my Xbox controller so it didn't go pause. Been playing baseball. You know, I play baseball. Okay, I wanted the small one. Simply because I didn't need nothing loud and crazy, a thousand settings. I just wanted to get to the basics. And when I plugged this thing in and got it, you know, four little controls to my uh, pedal, it took me back to when I was a kid. And, um,. It felt good. It did. Um, when I was a kid, I didn't have big, loud amps. And you always think you want that, but then when you know you're older and kind of got to go back a hair and start over. Well, with me, also carpal tunnel and all that. I got a uh, titanium bracelet with these things that are underneath with magnets and all kinds of crap. It's supposed to help you out. I think I might take a link out and I have another one coming tomorrow. So I'll have one with both hands. Maybe I can really rock again. But anyways, little tiny. I think it's a 10 watt amp. But I just wanted it to get back to just playing stuff without all kinds of crazy loudness and effects. Once I do the songs on here and know them and hear, um, then I can go to the big boy and uh, set up the keyboard with the drums and it's not like I'm not doing it. I do know some people that um, do have like recording devices and make beats and stuff and whatnot for like Oh, geez. It, there's computer software and you, nowadays. It, you make beats, you sell them, and you make a lot of money. Uh, uh, I did that when I was in Florida. I didn't make money, but uh, Fruity Loops, and I had, uh, I made, like, techno-style stuff, and just because that was all I could really do with that. And believe it or not, I was number one on uh, Reverb Nation in Techno in Sarasota, Florida by doing Techno on a crappy computer with 
Fruity Loops. Um, I didn't have no way. I didn't have a guitar. I didn't have no way to play anything. I made my own stuff. Put guitar in it based off of the programs that had, you know, guitar sounds. So it's really interesting if you're good at it. And there are people that will buy beats. So if I can get good at this. All I really have to do is uh, get my hands back. Because it's in my mind. It's been in my mind for 30 plus years. Now, if my buddy wants a riff, because a couple years years back, probably like 2019 before COVID hit, he was making beats and um, really good. And he had his own little studio. He even had black screen or a green screen. He could make videos and everything. Now, back then he wanted me to play just a bass line. But I, ha I didn't have anything. And since then, he's moved. But we're still, you know, we're friends on Facebook. And now, my apartment has basically almost turned into a recording studio. So, if he would bring his stuff over, and if I could just put a couple riffs... And then he can record them and loop them onto his stuff. Eh. It could be a rock, a uh, rock, rock, rap style sound. Because that's what I would do. I'd put a mean riff, and then he can do the rest and loop it and loop it, and then you know. But anyway, I talk too much. But this little amp. 10 watts, $20, Goodwill, pile. And worth way more than $20. And um, I'm only showing it because I didn't plan on making the video anytime soon. But I got this thing and I got bored and... I want to at least kick out a few chords. Got the Galeri, and I got the pile. Here we go. Plane. It's good for me just just because it can be sitting right here and um, on my ten dollar Goodwill coffee table that um, I got uh, two weeks ago, and it's better than the last one. It's big, heavy wood and. I love it, and um, I find tons of great crap at Google. Who finds a pile amp? See, there's no, no amp on it. I have to run a blind back on it. Better. 
just my hands. I know it's here. It's just not there. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. It's not perfect, but uh, when I was 25, I could do that whole thing. Lost the cold gin and anything you want, but okay. Anyways, pile probably goes for yeah, at least a hundred. Um, I got it for 20, and um, I don't want to sell it though. I like the fact that it's so little has a lot in it, and I can get back to what I know I can play simply, and then I can take it to the next level eventually with the bells and whistles on the box and the crate. And this is not too loud to bother anyone that lives here. So, but yeah. 10 watt um pile. teach you how to play something. Two was like that. I, I, I wasn't even playing with a pick. trying to give you sounds of this amp. I'm not really trying to impress you by any way with my skills because I don't have any right now. Okay, 
out of here. I just want to show you real quick this little $20 thing I bought. Um, just sounds all right. It ain't too loud. So the um, volume should be all right in this video. Like I said, I wasn't trying to impress anything with uh, guitar playing skills. Just what I found today and um, how to put it up because this is going to be the turning point in me playing guitar again because it's just enough to be right here and go. And um, then I can but either way, it really don't matter. I just want to play again. It's not like I'm never being a band. Well, you never know. Uh, someone might want a guitar tech someday. Yeah, right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it for that. And I'm going to try to up this to the tube and then uh, the book. So, all right. You know, it's me and. Uh, all right, take care. Bye-bye.